Hey there, fellow tool fans. I thought I'd come on today and just share a little bit of something. Um, either A, you don't know what this stuff is, B, you've not got the money for it, or C, you're contemplating, hey, is that worth money? Uh, should I buy that? <laughs> now, I've actually fallen into a couple of these categories uh, over the years, and uh, the feature, the like main piece of this whole thing is going to be the fact that I only recently discovered, thanks to you guys in the comments, who reflected on my Anima copy and said, that's not the original. So I did a bit of looking around and I found that there was a lenticular version, in other words, like a hologram version of this, uh, which is this guy. And I did not know that this existed. And this is pretty amazing. Uh, here, I'll put it on the camera for a second. So. This guy is something that's like totally new to me. Um, obviously it's starring Bill Hicks there on the cover along with, looks like Maynard with like a fecked up leg. Um, and and that's the back on it. And I've, I've never, I've never known all these years. This was my first ever Tool album, well that one was. And I've never known that an alternate existed until about a month ago. So I ordered it, it's an import from the US. Um, I don't know if it's the original original. Someone said to me that there was um, <clears throat> someone performing uh, Fellatio on themselves on the cover. That doesn't appear to be it. Or maybe it's a reversed cover. I don't know yet. So I'm gonna go ahead and open that. We're gonna see what that's all about. And again, just experience that together. And for those of you who can't get a copy or in a country where you can't import a copy, then I'll just show you what it is and you know, give you my thoughts about it. But first, to baseline it, let's go ahead and, you know, talk about the one that I got, which was a European release. I thought this was the original. This is the first CD. I picked it up in like a Virgin Mega Stores back in the day. Or was it HMV? It was, I, it was probably Virgin actually, um, who was the, like the main seller in Cork in Ireland back when I was a student. And a friend of mine had said, you've got to listen to Tool. And I went and picked this up and I was like, what? It, what is this? And it took me it took me ages to kind of break into it, um, probably about a month, and then I was just hooked, and then you know just wanted more. And thankfully, then only a couple of years later, that was sometime probably 2002 or something like that, 2001, uh, when I actually got into this. And then um, it was sometime later that we got into something else. So I wanted to try a couple of different things. Um, I've been going kind of tool spend mad ever since. Um, ever since, obviously, the new the new album released, and Fear Inoculum is amazing. It's an absolute masterpiece of an album. Um, if you haven't gotten it yet, then you should. It's amazing, it's incredible. I mean, the main feature of it is that it, you know, you open it up, and it's just like, it, it's, it's incredible what they give you. And then there's a, a video that plays, so you have to actually charge the thing. I'm not gonna spoil that for you. I'm sure you can go look at that somewhere else, but. It's actually pretty long. Um, I don't know how what the length is, and uh, it's it, it's it's a kind of a weird ambient piece of music that plays. The visuals are stunning and all that kind of stuff. But anyway, I'm sure you've seen that somewhere else on the web. So um, let me first show you what this looks like for me. You know, rewinding back to um, you know, rewinding back to the time when when I was uh, when I was first kind of new at this, and this was you can see the camera there. Uh, this was this was the album that I was opening for the first time and I was like, okay Well, what's this all about first off that I remember noticing was like, oh, there's no track uh, There's no track listing on it. I saw that on I, I pronounced it enema the whole time like until one of you Well, actually many of you told me otherwise and said hey, <laughs> it's pronounced this way like I, I only got to know about this band basically all on my own and I had I had I had nothing I had nothing to uh, tell me otherwise so it says has tarot on the inside, or tarot has tarot, or I don't know what it's meant to mean, but that's that symbol has been in print, imprinted on my uh, on my life for the longest time. Now the other thing that I wanted to show and and just recognize, look at the difference between that, right, the coloring and all that, and Fear Inoculum. Like it's very close. It's that whole kind of bronze color, and it, it, they've been mostly in like the silver spectrum. Um, most of most of the albums since so I just I thought that would be cool to kind of show off there's the Bill Hicks inside sleeve another dead hero is what it says and it's got the eyes and stuff but this is the thing I didn't understand was like and I, there's nothing under here yeah it's just blank 
So this is obviously like a reprint for the for the European market or something like that. So let me just go ahead and show you what's on the inside of the sleeve. And we're going to do this for the other album as well, just because. Oh well, it's been this has been ages. So then it's got it's got all this stuff. It's got all these fake album art artwork. I don't know if you've seen this. This is awesome. Gay rodeo, Bethlehem abortion clinic, uh, two wieners for daddy, um, the other white meat. These are awesome. These are awesome. Uh, what else have we got? Bad breath, three fat brown fingers, crap steak smothered in dictators. Um, sorry, it's a little bit blurry. Nurse Catamella's kitchen, iced pea. These are all like it's supposed. It's like it's supposed to be a discography kind of thing. You get the lovely. Uh, there's all these these things, and then on the inside, um, it just shows. So it's like an extended version of that artwork. So you've got this is the. And it's got the, I don't know what you call these, the cherubs who are issuing in, you know, um, Arizona Bay or whatever, just destruction, kind of end of end of the universe type of thing. So Stink Fist, Eulogy, all that kind of stuff, H, right? They've got the actual track listing. But of course, no lyrics. So that's what surprised me the most with actually the new one, is they actually included lyrics. And I was like, what are you doing? This is not a tool thing. <clears throat> but I guess they, they didn't want... Maybe maybe it's a major thing. Maybe he just wanted to like pin it down. Anyway, let's go ahead. Um, so again, this has not been opened. Uh, I'll probably save the sticker because that's what normally what I do. <clears throat> let's go ahead and um, open this up. Now, sorry, the camera's bouncing around a little bit. It's <clears throat> it's on a funny little contraption here, trying to um, trying to keep it so you guys can see what I'm doing. All right, all right. Oh, the sticker's on it. Brilliant. I don't have to take it off. <clears throat> but this whole lenticular action, like I'm really curious how this is going to look. So does it do anything? It's supposed to be lenticular. I'm not noticing any effects. Maybe a slight, like, color change? I don't know. All right. <clears throat> and then, of course, on the back, as you can see there, is that uh, lovely, dreadful eye. This is just cool. It's fun to be able to unpack this stuff. All right, let's see what's inside. I have no idea what the disc is going to look like. Holy moly. Oh, it's... <laughs> That's it. That's the disc. Okay. That's bold. Yeah. So dude, uh, yeah, enjoying himself there. <laughs> Anything under the disc? Oh, there is. It's a picture of, let me see if I can see that properly. It's a bunch of lines uh, crossing over, so it looks like a shaded, I think this is the whole Arizona Bay thing, right? There's Nevada. <clears throat> and it's like, it's almost as if water, yeah, it's basically marking the territory that then is going to, you know, break off into the sea or whatever. So that's pretty neat. Um, that's a pretty cool image. Okay, now there's more what I was expecting. A lot of people have have said that that's like the official cover, right? With all the eyes and stuff in the background. If you just compare that side by side, now I don't I don't think that's correct because the sleeve opening is is on this side, which is correct. So, but that's what they went for for the European release. They tidied it up without the eyes behind it and went for that, which I which I I thought was amazing. I remember seeing that and just it was striking, um, just like the Undertow album. Um, okay, so, and just in case Undertow is any different, I'll have to show that in a little bit. All right, let's see, put the CD back in there. It's awesome, by the way. That's freaking cool. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't even know this existed. Okay, so like that lenticular thing. Oh, right. Wait, hang on. What does that do? So if I move it, does it do something? I'm trying to figure out if it did it. No. Nope. Hard to tell. It kind of loses focus and then regains focus. And if I take this out, what happens? Does it... I thought maybe it would like, you'd see, it's very, it's very hard to see through, even for me. No, I don't think so. Unless you're able to take this lenticular thing out and then place that over. That's what I was thinking. And then you like move it left and right to see what what happens? Or no. Okay. So clearly I don't know what to do with this. 
Um, okay. Let's go ahead and take a look. So, so hang on. Is that meant to work in conjunction with this thing? Again. Oh, okay, now that's cool. So it's animated. There we are. So if I move that, that's freaking savage. Okay, now that's that's cool. So that's what that's all about. So you just move it very slowly. And it does the because that's exactly how it looks when you see it on. Now if I move it this way. Okay, so it's this way then. Oh, that's neat. See, this is the thing. Tool's been like doing this kind of stuff all the time, and I just didn't know. Love it. That is pretty cool. All right, cool. So that's that. Uh, I'm kind of convinced that that will work with the backing image to the disk, actually, because it's all, you won't be able to see it now, but the, there's like lines on this. So I feel like that would disappear. Um, I probably would have to take it out of the case. I don't want to do that because then you break the little plastic pins and stuff. So I'll leave it for the moment. Um, okay, so stick that in there. So that's neat. I did not expect that kind of thing to happen. Now, does this have anything? Mm, no. So that still says Bill Hicks, another dead hero. Him with his broken leg. His third eye up the top. Okay, so not much else really to say about that. And then, oh, sweet. Now, are these disturbing images going to be here? So there's, <laughs> the dude, is, so, so they just got into a shoot and, so all this stuff is going to be lenticular then. Uh, I'll show it to you in a second. Is that, that we've already seen. And then on the inside, we've got, Blue Man Maynard, which is not lenticular, or that's kind of Maynard. He's got a eye at the top, really weird. The print is kind of fecked up, I have to say. It's um, it's like, it's hard to see in the video. It's like, what the hell is this? Coined them Futons. Futons are naturally, resi hang on, I gotta read this, whatever that is. That's another image that we've already seen. So that's similar to the previous one that we've seen, but it's it's the one with this fella. So this it does. This guy isn't on the version that I've got, and I remember running across it online and being like, "What is that?" And it's some freaking savage artwork. So I don't know who did that artwork, but um, I did see it the other day on online. Okay, so I'm going to read this. Uh, the anesthetic state produced does not fit into the conventional classification of stages of amnesia, but instead produces a state of unconsciousness that has been termed dissociative and an anesthesia, anesthesia. Uh, in that it appears selectively interrupt association pathways to the brain before producing some somesthetic sensory blockage. God, I'm not pronouncing these things right. In contrast to other anaesth anesthetics, protective reflexes such as coughing and swallowing are maintained under anesthesia. Variations in body temperature may occur. Uh, reflex aids in minimizing the hazards associated with... Okay. It's gone past me. I have no idea what all this is about. Through the system, a better understanding of ourselves is attained. No true ritual magician has ever sacrificed life, drank goat's blood, or taken part in any other stupid urban legend ritual. This sort of behavior is left to the psychotic, dogmatic, fundamentalist believers you see on your TV every day. Letting off bombs and killing people in the name of God. Beliefs are dangerous. Belie uh, beliefs allow the mind to stop functioning. A non-functioning mind is clinically dead. Believe in nothing. Interesting. I skipped a lot of that. Um, very cool. Like the artwork. Okay, let's see the other um, lenticular action stuff, which is really just two additional pieces. So it's so cool to do this stuff. I mean, I don't know how much that cost them for this sheet of. Okay, let's see here now. Oh, yeah, that works. There we go. So your man is just... Let's see. Flip it over. Try to see if I can get it to work a little bit better. Does it work better this way? Nope. Definitely that way. 
So you can see that they're like getting up or moving and this isn't working particularly well, but let me try it again. You can tell what he's doing. Actually, you're not, it's so funny. The camera isn't picking up the full range of movement, which is odd. Yeah. You kind of get it. Not a lot, though. For some reason, that doesn't work very well. All right, now try here. I'm trying to determine how this actually works well. Okay. Oh, Jesus, that's sick. Feckin' cool. It's like... Now, I, again, I, I'm not sure how to properly do it. I'll have to practice this. Oh, kind of like if I rotate it. Kind of... Whoa! It's weird. Okay, so I think you have to line it up pretty well. And then move it back and forth. This is neat, though. Okay, I'll have to play with this later. It's hard, it, again, it's it's hard for me to kind of hold it and, and represent it at the same time, but that is, um, that's pretty nifty. So again, they give you the lenticular film that comes with it. Uh, this CD, for those who were wondering, cost, um, it was 14 pounds to import through Amazon. And uh, actually, you know what? Yeah, so it's it's either, it's actually, so that is probably inside cover, and for some reason, that's actually supposed to be, I think that's supposed to be on the inside. Because that is meant to be the outside. Yeah? So that's what, that's my understanding. So anyway, I'll, um, because then you've got, because then that, you know, then that's the whole point about the lenticular thing being there. Which is amazing. Very cool. Cool. Alright, I'm going to leave it on like I got it. I think, I think they maybe, um, are shipping that, that way for some reason. I don't know. I saw it on um, I saw it on Reddit as well that some people were receiving it that way and they're like, is this an alternative album artwork? It's like, no, sorry, it's not. So that is neat. So they actually had oh, and you can ah right, that's what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to tilt it. So it's like that. Hang on, can I? Now I understand. And the thing is, I know all like I've. I've done these kinds of things before. Now you need a kind of a black environment to be able to do it, right? Let me try that again. Sorry. Learning as we go here. Learning as we go. Um, okay. So again, right? But yeah, I kind of like moving it because. But that's that's what you're supposed to do. And then if I put that over the other bits, let me try that one more time. Maybe I was doing it wrong. Right. See, that works a little bit better. You can see Maynard approaching. Okay, and then this one. Sorry, guys, this is like... I'm just trying to figure this out, eh? Yeah. Okay. Anyway, we're going to go ahead and uh, move to the next thing. So I also got a whole bunch of... Um, Alex Gray stuff. I got his Net of Being book, which I have never... I've seen some of his artwork, of course, being a good Tool fan. Um, but I've never seen... You know, I've never seen... what's in the book. I've, 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 I've not... Uh, not had a chance to experience that yet. So, uh, we're gonna do that. So, there we go. There's the new Anima copy. So we got a few other things to open here. Um, so let's go ahead. So the main things are like the Sacred Mirrors thing. I'll show you what was in these um, magazines. Those are obviously all been opened already and uh, read by myself after having received Fear Inoculum. Um, that's a cool album. I'm glad I got that. Uh, it's it's kind of similar to um, the difference between Mirror de Nom. Uh, I don't know if you guys know this. I've got some Pussifer stuff and APC stuff here, but. There's two different uh, two different of these as well. Here, I'll show you. So, see the difference? So one of these is a Japanese import. That's the original with the foil. That's the Japanese import paper. But, what's the difference? 
So there's your kind of standard English back. And then you've got a bonus track. See, bonus track 13 is Orestes demo. And of course you got the Japanese sticker on it as well and a few other things here. So, but comparing you side to side, you just get the additional bonus track and that's it. Now the actual CDs themselves, I think they're no different, but I'm trying to remember. Oh no, no, they are slightly. So there's the Japanese one. Sorry for the shake. Yeah. Do you see it on the inside, the inscription? The inscription. Yeah, it's pretty cool. So there's some things. And this one obviously says, uh, that one says Toshiba EMI Limited, whereas this guy is different licensing studio, I think, is uh, Virgin. Yeah. So that's that. Okay. So let's go ahead. Uh, I'm going to start with the thing that I, I, I suppose I wasn't too sure about, uh, where my wife said, for, like, for Sacred Mirrors, she's like, what? Why did you buy this? I'm like, I was curious. <laughs> They're basically meditation cards. Um, so Sacred Mirrors cards. Uh, that's what it looks like on the back. And it says, the Sacred Mirrors are a journey through our physical, sociopolitical, and spiritual anatomy. On the back of each sacred card, Axe Gray's visionary poetry illuminates at each system. The 23 cards in this boxed set are intended to lead us through the process of theosis, that is, coming closer to God. Through contemplation of iconic archetypes and seeing ourselves, each other, and our world as a reflection of the divine. There you go. So it's quite a sturdy little box, this thing. Um, so this is, this is, I don't even know how, I guess it's going to slide open. Looks like it's going to slide open as a set of cards. But I, I was really interested in like seeing what this would look like. And then we're going to get to Net of Being in a moment. I, I can't wait to see what Net of Being has in store. I'm just like, again, I just wanted to kind of just do this together. I've always been inspired by who they connect with for um, uh, for their art because I think they've got a great eye for matching, you know, their their music, their mantras with artwork. And um, you know, if I'm not able to share like direct music and stuff with you guys, then uh, I figure this was a this was a way that I could still connect in a way that uh, I find quite interesting. So here we go. Let's try this one. So Sacred Mirrors Cards by Alex Gray. Uh, maybe I should, oh, they open. I'll tell you what, I'm gonna clear the background here. Cause this is a lot, let's move this stuff. Oh, that's fucking heavy, man. Ugh. <laughs> it's like, I'm not joking. It's heavy, that's heavy as hell. Okay, so uh, Alex Gray's Sacred Mirrors Cards, okay. Oh, that's neat. Okay. All right, so we've got uh, Bollocks Gray, Sacred Mirrors, Transfigurations, uh, 50 color plates. What is that hardcover? I guess those are just... Alex Gray is creating some of the most beautiful and refined paintings in the world today. His work is exhibited worldwide. This collector's edition contains the following. One hardcover copy of Sacred Mirrors, one hardcover copy of Transfigurations, Portfolio of six new paintings suitable for framing. The protective case acts as an altar. Interesting. Okay. So that's like, that's his ad for, uh, how much is it? I guess it's, that's, that's expensive. That's $125. Okay. So there's that. And then there's, he's put his little leaflets in here. I don't know how, uh, um, thanks, Alex. <laughs> uh, yeah, you, you got to push your stuff, right? Um, so this is Cosm. This is the Chapel of Sacred Mirrors, where he's actually got all this stuff, like, full scale. You just walk in and, like, look at the artwork full scale. It's crazy. Uh, he's got a massive door that's the same way, I think. Cosm the Movie is a cinematic tour of the Chapel of Sacred Mirrors, home to the outstanding works of art by Alex Gray. Okay. Very neat. Okay, so straight off the back, I am glad I bought this. Look at this thing. This is awesome. The, the feckin' fidelity of that is incredible. Oh shit, that is cool. Okay, and it, I think it's just a whole box of these cards. Oh my god, this is cool. Holy cow. It's like, and I'm, I'm a collectible card game uh, dude. Like, I like Magic the Gathering and Key Forge and stuff like that. That's sickeningly cool. That is, it's freaking massive as well. Um, and he's got a message from Alex and Allison Gray. 
Um, I'm going to go through this stuff a little bit later again there. You can see it on screen in case you wanted to pause and have a read. So this is this is not my highest def webcam that I'm using for the uh, for the unboxing because I didn't think we'd uh, we'd need it, but I I regret that now. This card is incredible. It's fucking cool. Let me see if I can bring it on this one. Uh, that is just awesome to have in full detail, like that size. Look, it's the size of my head. Um, amazing, very cool. I forget what the piece of artwork is called. I always couple that one with um, some of the other stuff he's done, but. Very nice, I can L. Okay, this is cool so far. So there's that. Uh, I'll turn them over as I go. Space, matter, energy. All right, this is gonna be neat. Let me see here. I'm gonna have to make it so we're doing one at a time. So this one has, I don't know what that is though. H-E-L-I, so that's that's all the, the atoms. They got time, space, matter, energy. So I guess it's just again, it's showing that we're all what, is it, what does he say on the back of it? Material world. Uh, okay. I'm, I'm going to read this stuff a little bit later, but for now I just want to kind of s zip through it. I don't want to hold you guys up too long. There's obviously the... Uh, the skeleton. Skeletal system. So material world around us. Skeletal system is next. Then you've got... This fella. And he's nervous system. This is like biology again. <laughs> Hosted by Alex Gray. Um, cardiovascular system. Lymphatic system. Don't worry, dude. Not to be so extreme. He's like, what are you doing? Put my balls on YouTube. <laughs> Viscera. That's muscle. Muscle system. Caucasian man. Are they going to have one of these cards for everybody? Caucasian woman. They do. African man. African woman. Asian man. Asian woman. He cheated. <laughs> Is there anything missed there? Where's the Latin? Where's the Latin man and the Latin woman? I want to see the Latin woman. No. <laughs> uh, wow, what is this? Psychic energy system. I wasn't going to guess that. These are these are cool. All right. I love having these in high, de high detail. Spiritual energy system. Universal Mind Lattice. Universal Mind Lattice. Look at that thing. We've seen that before, but... What is this? Sorry, I'm going to pick these up together so I'm not spoiling the previous one. Um, that's cool. Is that a candle? There's some kind of symbol. I, I can't recognize what it is, and it's not picking up on the camera. Void Clear Light. Okay. This is, uh, holy cow. What is that? Ala, a, wait, Avalokitesvara. Never heard of him, but very cool. Well, we know who that is. That's Kid Rock. Yep, Kid Rock. All right. That really reminds me of um, the uh, the Pussifer creature. I don't even know what you would call it. Sophia. Oh, interesting. Didn't he didn't he name his daughter Sophia? And that's spiritual world. These are cool. And this one is looks like a picture of something in his place. What is that? Chapel of Sacred Mirrors. Yeah, so that's that's just like the ending card. But that fits well in there. Cool. So those are the uh, sacred cards. So if you were, like, interested, um, I don't remember what I paid for them. Um, but frankly, even just for that 
first piece of artwork along with all these other like it's just very you could definitely like chill out with tool and check some of this stuff out and just be zoning with us damn very neat okay so thank you alex gray for that that's very cool all right nice i love that it opens this way it seems like really classy to have it just sit there like a box of tarot cards that's nice okay Definitely will be uh, cherishing that for a time. All right, so let's, uh, I'm just gonna do a quick flick. Um, this is really just, as, as I said, I've opened these before, but I'll do the magazines that will hit net of being, because um, it's the heaviest thing. Do that last. I'm not gonna swap scenes, I'm just gonna stick it here probably. Um, nah, I will, I will, I will. All right, so we'll go and, um, so let's see here. So this one, this is the Kerrang! magazine, probably the, least well informed of the set. I like the photo on the front and, and in the back they've got this, um, they're saying like classic poster, but what am I gonna do? Deface the the feckin' magazine by tearing this out and putting it up on my wall? I don't think so. So that's there, that's from some Berlin uh, concert that they had done at some stage and I think that's pretty cool. Now there is a piece inside here which is the tool bit. This is where they say, Lucky 13. After a seemingly inter in interminable wait of 13 years, Tool returned this month with Fear Inoculum. And a lot of these photos, right, you had with the different magazines in terms of what they were running and what they could go with. So, you know, it, it goes into a good story. Um, I won't go into everything. They do a breakdown of Undertow, Anima, Lateralis, and 10,000 Days. Obviously there's the old classic picture of Maynard. Standing with his mohawk. For years I thought it was a genuine mohawk. Only recently learned that it's just glued on. Um, I don't know why I was was thinking that the whole time. It actually touches on, this is a bit, I think this is a bit dodgy. It's a Kerrang thing to do. Like they, they touch on the whole, you know, the fact that uh, Justin Bieber was a fan or whatever. But they really don't commit to the tool piece. Like that's it, right? It's like three pages basically. Four pages. Yeah, which is okay. Um, it doesn't go much into it. I like what the effect they did on the tool logo. I don't know if you can see that. It's kind of uh, like noise disturbed, uh, which is pretty nifty. So that's nice. I, I, like the cover of that is really good. And that's about as that's about as skin deep as I like it. It's not the best coverage uh, of them, I think. And then Metal Hammer's next. So, so Metal Hammer, um, they decided to go for like this bold logo. They've got the band on the front, right? We got this stuff kind of at the back. I did a terrible job of keeping this uh, <laughs> plastic in good order. It doesn't really matter. It's just a magazine. Um, they have a they have two things that they give you. They give you the supplemental magazine, which is talking about their history. And this is like an older picture. Some of you have seen that one before. Um, and it goes it goes through like the birth of Tool and um, Goes through all of these various things. Shows Danny early on. They talk about him. I like this. This this was like um, watching the film Sound City. It was it was it was a nice like run back through who they were in early days. I thought it was really good. Look at that classic Maynard, right? And they've got the, they've got the top ten greatest Tool songs. I don't necessarily agree with this list. Sober forty six and two Vicarious Schism. Ten thousand days. Parabola, Parabola, amazing. Uh, Anima, Lateralis. Why people think that Lateralis is the best track there is, I, I don't know, it's never been, it's never been my, I don't think I have a favorite track though. That's the other thing. So there you go, there's that. What's this, this is something else, some other supplement. And then in there, let's so go ahead, get some of this stuff out of the way just for a second. Da, 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 da. So not getting confused here. Um, let's see. I've never got my head around Tool. Like, he opens up, right? So he's like, yeah, page 38. So we go over to page 38. And again, we see you can you, you see the um, you know Tool stuff. I love how Danny is just like so big. Well, he's what, 6'5"? Such a freaking massive dude. And so they've got some pictures in there. They go through the band. Uh, they cover a few things, but you can tell they're limited on pictures as that one's quite similar. 
Um, look, it's like the same shot again, 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 you know, and then they go into, and this is actually one of the areas where I started to be like, oh, I should look at some of his stuff. Now I've known about Alex Gray's stuff. I've never been compelled to kind of buy into his, uh, buying his artwork physically until recently. And then I just really, I don't know, I went, I went, I went tool mad recently and uh, that's, that's what's led me to all of this. But again, I just wanted to share this stuff with you because if you don't have the funds to get it, you can't get it in your country. It kind of sucks if you're not able to even touch this stuff and it's there, you know, working away. Um, right, Revolver, last one. Probably my least favorite album art. Um, it's kind of weird. I don't know. But the article's really good. So I think that's what, that's what matters. So we come through here. I think this is it. Let me just see. Yeah. So they've got some great shots in here. I mean, they do a fantastic job on, on Maynard's hair, even, even, even though, you know, even, even though there's problems with it. It's nice having this stuff, though. It really is nice having uh, this. Uh, Opeth. Oh, is that a new album? Um, sung in both Swedish and English. Uh, 27, September 27th. Oh, I'm gonna, I'm, I like Opeth a lot. A lot. They're, they're freaking. Oh, mm. Okay. Still tools on top, though. Okay. So that is like a widespread cover there. This is over a decade since the last. And since their last album, the enigmatic prog metal titans step into a strange new world. Okay, so they go through a whole bunch of things. Again, I'm just going to give you a quick kind of flyby. So they do a, a bit on Adam, right? So all these magazines got like different people. It was interesting interviewing them. They got Justin. Justin's perspective was really good. I love how they still call him the new guy. There's Maynard's bit. See, this is like really in, this is really in quite a bit of depth. Is that it? I thought there was, I guess that was it. Was that the end? Yeah, I suppose it was. Yep. Yeah, cool. Okay, so those were the magazines, which again, I'm kind of, I'm not usually a magazine person. I'm not usually a collector that kind of way, but I was just like, it's such an important milestone. I actually care this time. So that's what I went for. All right. So um, now on to this giant tome, which came in a box and it's fucking, is so heavy. It, like I don't do hardbound books very often. So this thing is a weighty chunk and it's quite thick as well. Um, I don't know what that is, maybe 60 pages or something. And the back is pretty nifty. Uh, this retails for forty dollars, and um, I don't know what I paid for it. I thought it was thirty-six pounds, maybe, but I, I didn't think that that was bad for like a big hardcover book. I was like, let's go for it, and just see what this is all about. So, anyway, uh, last thing in our list, and then we're wrapping it up. So, okay, trouble I have. I love how they did the cover. The cover is gorgeous. It's all gloss and like, it's look at this. It is fucking amazing. It is really nice. It is, it is proper. I didn't, ex I didn't expect it to be so like shockingly gorgeous in person, but it really is nice. It's this beautiful black gloss um, cover. I mean, that enough, that alone is enough. Like in terms of the vibrance and I, I haven't, I haven't amped this up or anything. Like that's how it looks. Like that is it. It's it is a gorgeous piece of artwork on it by itself. Look at that book. Amazing. It's just like right. So let's see what this is all about. Um, okay. So net of being. Again, this is just to give you a glimpse of it. Uh, let's go ahead and so here we go. So net of being. Um, this is just to give you a glimpse of the underlying uh, artwork in here just to fly by and what's inside this thing and is it you know worthwhile going for um, interesting Alex Gray is the author of blah 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 He's, uh, his work has graced the numerous album covers including those of Nirvana Tool and the Beastie Boys okay a little bit sticky interesting why is that is that printing it says, uh, Tool playing in front of a 30 by 60 banner. 
30 by 60 foot banner uh, fleet center Boston in 2002 okay let's get that up there it's hard to see I know it's kind of a blurry shot as it is uh, CD design for 10,000 days check this out yeah we all recognize that I'm sure yeah. tool playing in front of a giant banner Gnosis the Journal of the Western Inner Traditions Psychedelics and the Path okay this is pretty cool I kinda wish I was a little more zoomed out here for this but maybe I can can I do it let me see if I can achieve that because that would be that would be nice all right let's check it yeah this will help okay so at least you get a flavor of what's in here make sure I don't rip a page that would be traumatic um, it says This is why you don't have a candle running while you're doing a live thing. Okay. So. I just recognized something. Do you see my desk? The cat has melted <laughs> onto my desk. Okay. Well, maybe I should take that off. <laughs> oh, I'll deal with that later. <laughs> oh, lesson learned, eh? <laughs> and it's such a small candle as well. I was like, I'll be fine. Is it will uh, but it's really eaten into that cat. Anyway, this cat is, is a cat that's designed to uh, melt. And then what happens is, let's see if you can see that. Inside there's a skeleton, a metal skeleton. And then it, the wax exposes uh, the skeleton. But what happened is its face melted open and it poured that down onto the table. Um, but for some reason, the wick, uh, I guess, it was burning the wax inside, and so it lit up. <sighs> Only during a live recording, eh? Okay. So, let's go back. Um, all right, so instead of being, we got a couple pages in. Okay, we didn't get that far. Uh, Gnosis. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take my face away from this, uh, so just because then you'll be able to see it better. All right. Let's see here. Okay. So that's cool. Kind of discography thing. Now there's gonna be a little bit of shake because of where the camera's located. Sorry about that. So it's got para parabola. So it's just got oh, it's got all these uh it's a revolver. That would have been neat. That would have been pretty cool. Lateralis album artwork. Oh, right. I don't know if I've ever seen that so blown up. It's nice. Again, I'm getting some sticky pages. Holy cow. Shite. Are you kidding me? Someone carved the feckin' sacred eye into there. Jesus. That makes me feel a little bit, uh... <laughs> All this stuff. Whoa! Holy shit, this guy's got everything on his bottom and every- holy cow! That is insane. 
That's feckin' look at this thing. Hang on, hang on. Whoa. That is proper artwork. Look at that. Look at that dude. Holy cow, man. That guy's a walking piece of artwork. Jeez, who what artist did that? That wasn't Alex himself. He doesn't do tattooing, does he? No. No, he doesn't, I don't think. Wow. Okay. This is Alex Gray painting in front of 25,000 participants in the 20-hour party tribe in Brazil. Jeez. Yeah, he's done... He recently appeared um, at a few places. It's, it's funny, because he's just like... He's such a nifty dude. Wow, that's a lot of... That of being... But yeah, this, this book is amazing. Now, I'm just kind of hoping that there's... Um, well, that's just the intro. Now let's just... Okay. What is it? Okay, so he's, he's actually got some... I'll have to read this later. Bloody hell. Oh, that's a cool shot. Dude in the hoodie sitting in front of it. Not of being... Nihilistic to mystic. Huh. That looks great. No. He, he's such an interesting dude. That same day, May 30th, I took my first dose of LSD. After arriving at a party and sharing the drug with the hostess, I sat on her couch and closed my eyes. Inside my head, I was spiraling through a pearlescent tunnel from utter darkness towards a brilliant light. My ignorance was the darkness. God was the light. The polar opposes... <clears throat> the polar opposites blended seamlessly together together seamlessly, and it was then that I decided to change my name to Gray. My mission as an artist was now clear, to reveal and unite polarities, male with female, flesh with spirit. This propelled my search for the one love and light, all the heart of all mystical tra traditions. Wow. Interesting. So, like, he basically had a big old trip, and uh, that, that changed his career forever. Huh. What's that? Please send us this card to receive our latest catalog. Huh. Interesting. Wow. Custom guitar painted for Little Kids Rock charity auction. I mean, the amount of work that he's done. This is oil on linen. Oil on linen. And it like comes out with this kind of stuff. Really crazy. Finding the one. Beautiful what he's created. Kind of glad that he's um, self-portrait. That's cool. This is getting dramatic. This is getting very dramatic. What the? What are you doing? Stop touching tongues. I'm trying to put on a, a simple show. For, that's actually awesome. That's actually awesome. I love that artwork. I don't know why. It's looking awesome. It's awesome. Oh, man. I kind of feel like that's got to be. Oh, it's so cool. That is so cool. Um. Soultrons, that's what they call them. Ah, the pregnant lady. <laughs> Realizing your wife's pregnant. Huh? Yeah, no, it's... Um, I am disrespecting his artwork intentionally. <laughs> this is pretty cool. Jeez, okay. Fatherhood. Clearly death is featuring there. Look at these. I mean, it's just like... The amount of artwork to be able to then composite a book with all this stuff together is like crazy. You know, I'm not gonna spend too long on it, but like each one of these pieces of work is not a small piece of work. Like these are these are these are monstrous. And there's not that many people who I've seen who like are true to this theme. World Trade Center visitor. 9-10-2001. Oh, shoot. Wow. So he was there. Wow. He was there the day before. 
He was there the day, the day before. Shit. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. This book is incredible. Look, we're already, this is like, I'm not joking. This is, it's 200 pages. I thought it was like 60. I thought they were like thick paper or something, but this book itself is um, an incredible body of work. Wow. Yeah, Burning Man. He was just at Burning Man recently. I don't know. I, I, I'm sorry if this is like dragging or you're like finding this not interesting, but for me, um, I don't know. Just taking in the artwork is is uh, it's just kind of astounding. And I'm just this is just glazing by it. Like you need to sit down and just enjoy the pieces. And the thing is as well, like to see them in person. And I'm not even talking in print, like I'm looking at it in print. But to see artwork in person and to see the brush strokes, like it's so different. I saw some Salvador Dali stuff in London when we were living there. And it was like, it was like, oh shit, no wonder these guys think he's a genius. Look at that. You could tell in the texturing and the, and the brush strokes. It was just like, it, it was absolutely mind-blowing. I've always liked like that um, uh, surrealistic approach but oh my god it was um it was it was it was just incredible and it wasn't something i was it wasn't something i was ready for it was um it was something that just i i i wasn't yeah i wasn't ready for i wasn't ready for um when i saw it well, every guy at a bar huh crazy <laughs> pretty amazing artwork uh, okay so so like right off the bat the thing I have to say is um, I didn't think I was gonna have any interest in the uh, in the cards but I like them I'm glad I got them and this book is incredible like if I had a coffee table this would be the only book on the coffee table I don't have a coffee table <laughs> Everything in this house is like collapsible. Like our couch is collapsible, the tray tables are collapsible, we just do it that way. Even our dining room table is, is kind of collapsible and can move outside. We just like having multi-purpose things. Cosmic Elf? Cosmic Elf. That is pretty nifty. Well, we recognize that one. Entropy. Bardo Bean. That's awesome. I love the retexturing of it. That's neat as well. Song of Vara. Peyote. It's got a whole bunch of them. Varha. Jewel Bean. Huh. What is that? Diamond Bean. Net of Bean. All history is one immortal being who continually learns. This is the immortal one whom we worship without knowing their name, and we are that being. Hmm. Pascal. Painting that of being in Studio Brooklyn. Jesus, look at the size of it! I mean, I knew it was big, but... Holy cow, can you imagine? Like you trip, or there's a little blob of paint, or... Ah, how do you recover from that? How do you even scan it? I don't, like, I would love to understand the machines. If anyone knows in the comments and is uh, into this kind of thing, like, how do you, how do you, how do you capture that and digitize it? Is it some kind of like flat, like a flatbed scanner that just like parses the information across? You'd have to evenly light it and everything. Whoa, look at that. Computer generated model demonstrating the three dimensional topology was mapped by the Strauss Brothers Special Effects Visionary Team for Tool's Vicarious Video. Huh. Stills from Vicarious. 
Yep. I remember that. It's a good video. There you go. Right here. He's staring into 10,000 days. And there's the uh, 3D stereoscopic 3D CD case. <sighs> hey, that's cool. Uh, Alex Gray installation under the Burning Man in 2006. That's the uh, that's the dress. Ah, it's just. I don't have anything else to say. It's just nifty. Chapel of the Sacred Mirrors. So I guess this is going to show his place. Entryway to Cosm. Jesus, like, th seriously, this guy. The things he's got. is beautiful. Very cool. Because the amount of work that you'd put into that, can you imagine if there was a, a problem in it? Broke down. Cosm welcomes people of all religions and affirms the mystic core of compassion at the heart of all sacred paths. Full moon gatherings. <laughs> That's fucking cool. Why visionary art matters. That's a fair point. Just to be able to create and create and create and create and create and create. If anyone made it through this entire video, congratulations. <laughs> it's me paging through a book. But uh, suffice to say, this is a very well produced piece of literature wow 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 after we're all gone and in 300 years or 500 years Alex will be a master he right now is a modern master to me says Adam Jones yeah that's sweet wow so there you go net of being Ah, oh, the um, <laughs> the page through almost cost me my life. I almost became one with the universe. <laughs> so that's cool. So that was Net of Being. Uh, we had the different magazines and things. We obviously got the lenticular version of Anima through. Feck me. Um, well, the start ended a little bit more scrappy than uh, than we started, but. Um, yeah, I'm very happy to have done that because uh, it's fun to kind of just be able to show these things together and uh, be able to, uh, you know, be able to uh, share with people who, as I said, may not get a chance. Um, but yeah, net of being, if you're thinking about it, uh, fucking worth it. Definitely worth 40 quid, uh, $40 or like 36 pounds or whatever. Definitely. That is, that's a gargantuan piece of like, that's the dude's life work for like 30 years <laughs> all captured in a book um amazing absolutely amazing so alex gray's work great tool of course amazing uh, if, you, if you're not still listening to the new tool album then get back to that you should be doing that not listening to me um that's what i'm gonna do so thanks everybody for uh for hanging out here and uh, and watching me get through all that stuff um one little point actually for those who are interested um Firstly, this is cool. I just got this. Uh, this is an APC shirt, and I was like, that is neat. I really like the, uh, the look of it. This, like, giant Leviathan octopus. Uh, the Kraken, that, I suppose, at the bottom of the sea or whatever. I've got a bunch of uh, APC stuff. Now, problem that happened to me 
uh, recently was I was doing um, I was doing again uh, Fear Inoculum but playing it through a game doing the music and all that and Rico uh, the the copyright holder and licensor behind uh, Tool contacted me and you know asked that I take the video down and I was like that's fine I'll do it but I had pre-created a series of of all the songs that all the thumbnails all the tracks and I was like duh lesson learned anyway um, so I may not actually get to uh, live or or recorded um, do reactions to uh, those albums that we said we would do so I did I did previously do Money Shot, which was fantastic, going kind of uh, track by track. I was hoping to do basically like a live album listening party type job. Uh, and then, you know, obviously that didn't work out perfectly for Fear Inoculum. Halfway through it got stopped. I had to do a kind of a silent listening party, which really is kind of rubbish. I mean, I asked myself, like, would I watch that? Yeah, probably not. You know, syncing up with the music and then watching someone else listen to it back. That's a lot of pain in the ass, right? What if you're on your phone on the go or whatever? Yeah, it's just probably not going to work. So I've got four things yet to listen to, APC-wise. That's the 360 from A Perfect Circle. That's What is Pussifer. Uh, we've got Eat the Elephant. And then Pussifer's Money Shot, Your Reload. So I've got to do all of those. I don't yet know how. I really want to do that with some kind of viewer interaction. If anyone has an idea how I can do that without, you know, voiding obviously their tome of work and from a copyright perspective stepping on toes, then please let me know. Um, and if you did make it to the end of this video, congratulations. You are, I'm sure, one of the few. All right, until next time, uh, enjoy the music and spiral out. Ciao. Bye.